Happy spring and welcome to Access DNR, the monthly video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we bring the government closer to its citizens, take a look at perch populations, eliminate a troublesome safety hazard, and more. I'm your host, Anna Lucenti Hoffman, and this is Access DNR. We begin this episode in Calvert County at a special regional cabinet meeting designed to make state government a bit more accessible. An impressive crowd packed the halls of the Prince Frederick Volunteer Fire Department to hear remarks from Governor Larry Hogan, Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford, and various cabinet secretaries, including our very own Mark Belton. Afterward, state officials met with citizens and stakeholders before spreading out throughout Southern Maryland to tour and visit various sites. Next up, staff from Fishing and Boating Services headed to the Chop Tank River as part of the department's resident species project. To conduct the annual survey, the team hauls in a strategically placed fike net and transfers its contents to an awaiting holding tank. Captured fish are then counted and measured before being released back to the water. Data collected by the team is used to determine the overall population status, which will better inform management decisions. In other news, work has begun to demolish an unsightly and unsafe blight in northern Baltimore County. Formerly a historic property, the Glencoe train station was crippled beyond repair by a severe weather event. To start the project, crews worked to identify and salvage various architectural components that will be used at other nearby state properties. Later, the team's excavator toppled the long-abandoned structure and began loading and moving debris, making the area once again safe for visitors and wildlife. Next, we head over to Sandy Point State Park in Anne Arundel County for some multifaceted community outreach. Middle school students from Montgomery County spent some of their spring break hiking along the Blue Crab Trail, talking about native plants and animals, and even learning a bit about water safety prior to a complimentary boat ride with the Natural Resources Police. Events like this offer young Marylanders a chance to experience and explore our natural environment while providing them an insider's look at conservation and natural resources careers. Lastly, we want to take a moment to pay our respects to one of Maryland's most beloved anglers, Mr. Lefty Cray. Lefty was an accomplished fly fisherman with innumerable connections to advocacy and conservation throughout Maryland and beyond. His legacy will persist for many years to come. Rest in peace, Lefty. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news, events, and programs, please be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine and newsletter, and download our free mobile app. For those of you on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Anna Lucenti Hoffman. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month on Access DNR.